his name's Jesse Garcia, and he says, I, I could go down a weight. I said, well, I want to help you do it in a healthy way, so why don't we weigh tonight, and we'll see if it's good for you to go down to that weight. And it has seemed like an appropriate weight for him to wrestle at. And he says, uh, well, what, what do I do? And so I kind of told him how to do it, and don't starve yourself. I want you to weigh every evening and every morning, and I'll kind of teach you how you bring your weight down that way. And I said, go to, go to the store tonight and get a scale. And then we'll match it to the school scale so you kind of can check at home. And he gave me a funny look. He says, yeah, I can't do that. I said, you can't go to the store? He says, no, I can't go buy a scale. I said, well, do you want me to get you one? Or, or what do you want to do? Is there somewhere where you can weigh in the evening? He says, yeah, I live by the health clinic. I could weigh there. But now my radar is coming on, and I'm starting to watch this kid a little closer. Like He traveled with the junior varsity. I traveled with the varsity. I knew him but didn't know him well. We get to the first tournament time, and I said, you know, we weigh in at 530, so you got to be on weight, and we got to drive to the tournament. He says, yeah, I know. I said, don't be late. I know, I know. And be on weight. I know, I know. So we're weighing in. I weigh in the team. I've got my athletic director there weighing in the team, and he's not there. We're starting to get pretty worried about him. And about 25 minutes late, he comes running in. I said, Jesse, you got to go. He says, sorry, coach, sorry. At the tournament, I said to him, Jesse, do you think you could stay with coach or I next week before the tournament? Like, maybe ask your folks. Now, I know today you wouldn't do that, but there was a time coaches used to take in kids and, and do whatever they had to, and it was considered more common at that time. He says, I'll ask. He came to school the next week, and he said, my mom says I could stay with one of you guys. I said, okay, well, Co uh, Coach Treaster will keep you first, and then I'll keep you the next time. He stays with Coach. He comes to the weigh-ins. He's on weight. We make it. We go to the tournament, and we get to the tournament, and Coach says, you won't believe what Jesse told me last night. I said, what's that? He said, he told me it's the first time he slept in a bed. Wow. So one night I said, Jesse, I'm going to give you a ride home. He says, all right. I drove him up to one of the worst looking trailers I'd ever seen. There were buckets on the porch and I was young and naive and I said, why do you have all those buckets on your porch? If the water's off, we can borrow from the neighbors. A real interesting thing happened shortly before that. I told him you got to practice on Saturdays. He said, yeah, I can't. I said, Jesse, you're on varsity. You have to practice on Saturdays. He says, coach, you don't understand. I have a job. And I have to go. I can only get off of my work for meets. I said, when do you go to work? He says, I go at 8. I said, when do you get off? He says, I usually work 12 hours. So he's also working all these hours. I said, well, you and I are going to practice at 7, and then you can go to work. He said, all right. I said, be here? Yes, sir. Cold Kansas morning. The wind was blowing. I pull into the parking lot. I see the track, so I know he just got there in his car. I see a body up by the wrestling room door waiting to get in, but he's hunkered down in a big, heavy coat. It's snow and I got a hood on. I'm not paying much attention. I go running up there and I get a shocking moment when I get to the door. I get to the door and I notice under that big heavy coat, he's got a little baby in his other hand, a diaper bag and a playpen. He said, I forgot to tell you, I have my daughter on weekends. I said, let's go inside. I didn't know you had a daughter. I said, what do you want to do? He said, I brought her playpen so I can practice. 